Hey Team No Limits, this is Elizabeth Rocha. Happy Monday, hope you guys are all having a great start to your morning. I just wanted to make this video to share a little bit more about how I run my challenge groups, um, just based on the group message and all the questions and all the feedback and all the excitement about you know how to run a successful challenge group. And I'd have to say that this is something that works for me and I would love to share with all of you because I'm getting a ton of messages and why not share it with the entire group. And I hope that this helps at least someone, you know, to put this into action. And again, most importantly, um, my biggest tip for running a challenge group is you have to be yourself. You have to be yourself. You have to be genuine. And the main reason why your challengers joined you on this journey is because they connected with you. So you can take away whatever tips that I share with you today and apply them, but make them you. You know, don't go and take everything and just like a repetition. I mean, you can do that and you can duplicate and then little by little make it your own. But again, this is what has helped me for the last eight months and it has just been something that I've stayed consistent with. And as I go, I learn so much. And just following what Judd has taught me when making his videos and in the Emerald to Diamond group last spring, I've taken everything I've learned and applied it into my groups. And like I said, it's just, you know, being you, being genuine, and really staying connected with your people. So again, first thing is be you. Second thing is stay engaged with your groups. You know, don't just bring people in and then throw them into a group and expect for them to do this on their own. You are their coach. You are the reason why they are on this journey. They see your motivation. They are following you because you have inspired them to begin a journey that no one else could. So again, stay engaged in your groups. If you're having a busy day or a busy weekend, Take some time the night before and hootsuite, maybe one or two things. You can go into the Team Beachbody blog and grab a few links and hootsuite them. But don't go like missing. They're waiting for you to share something. They need your, you know, your encouragement, your support, your motivation. Even if you had to make a quick video that morning on a busy weekend, do it. But don't go missing. Don't go MIA. If you're out and about doing something, share your workout, share your Shakeology. You know, if you're asking them to do a Flex Friday pick, you do it as well in the group. Or share Shakeology, you share your, your Shakeology. Whatever it is, you have to stay engaged. Respond to messages. You know, if you're having a busy day, share that. Let them know that you'll get back to them. But don't, like, not respond. Make sure that you're in the group and you're staying consistent with your challengers. Um, again, like I said, you know, I would, I know, another thing that I do is I send personal messages, like the voice messages that we have, and I'll just say, hey, great job. Thank you so much for your participation. I love what you're doing in the group. You know, I'm so proud of you. And also, I have challengers who sometimes are not having a good week or a good day, and I send them something like, hey, you know what? I'm so proud of you. You know, I hope that um, today is a lot better than yesterday but know that I'm here to support you. I love you. You know, keep up the great work. And, you know, if there's anything I can do to help, you know, I'm here for you. So those little voice messages, you know, they might be something small, but those go such a long way. And the challengers come right back in and they know that it was just a bad day and not a bad year. So again, sending those voice messages have really worked for me. Um, phone calls, I make phone calls to those people who are struggling a lot with their nutrition and they just need to hear, you know, about how simple it is. And we're not experts and we're not nutritionists. Well, at least I'm not. So I just follow what I'm given in the books, you know, and what I've been through during my journey. So again, that's why it's so important that we're all on this journey together so we can share our struggles with them and we can share with them what has helped us overcome whether it's the nutrition, the workouts, or, you know, whatever it may be. Again, staying engaged in every part of this journey will help you run successful challenge groups. Number three, add value to your challengers. Just like you're adding value on your Facebook page to everyone else, 
These people have invested in you. They have taken the time to purchase a program. So now you have to keep adding value. You know, post motivational videos, stick out of your comfort zone, do it for your challengers. They've invested in this journey, guys. So make those motivational videos, you know, share your personal journey, your struggles, let them know you're real. And when you make those videos, they will see that. They will see how genuine you are and how much you really, truly believe in this product and how this has changed your life. So, you know, post those videos, share your personal journey, share, um, go to the Team Beach Body blog and get some recipes, get some um, fitness um, articles. There's a ton of health articles, beauty articles, whatever it is that you see your challengers need. Like if you're reading their post or even from you, you know, forming them, you know what they're struggling with. And so by you going back to the Team Beachbody blog, you can find a ton of articles that will go with what they're struggling with their journey. And you don't have to come up with this stuff. Beachbody does all the work for you. So take advantage of that resource. It's the Team Beachbody blog. Just grab the links, you can hootsuite it, or you can just post it live. But again, keep adding value to them. Share, like I said, share what you're going through. Just share, just love them, love them. And again, like I said, when I share videos in my groups, I do a ton of recipe videos. Um, I share some of my favorite recipes, my chicken chorizo tacos or my lasagna rolls or uh, my chicken soup, whatever it may be. You know, they wanna see that stuff. Like I said, they joined you because they love what you're sharing. They love what you, you know, what you're all about. So share what, who you are, you know, share the recipes that you enjoy and make them live. Um, again, give them a quick pep talk when you're making videos, share Beachbody products, the rest and recovery or the E and E. Um, I shared a video about Beachbody on demand and I got a ton of people to want to do the club membership because of Beachbody on demand. And it was something that I got when I went to Cancun. It was a quick training. I came home, did my research on Beachbody on demand and made a quick video. And I was so nervous about it because there's, it's something new, but the more that I did it right. And I, you know, did my research and I shared it with my team. They loved it. These challengers were all about it because a lot of them do travel or they're on the go. So this was a very great tool. Of course, you know, you share what your challengers need, but again, Beach One on Demand, all of them should know about it. And then, you know, when we do raffle and prizes or whatever we do, we do a live video, you know, and we do it live so they see all the excitement and share everything with them. And then also how to meal prep. Any little thing that you found helpful along this journey when you're meal prepping and your nutrition, share, um, make sure to be a giver. You know, reward your challengers for all their work and all their effort. Um, even if they're not sharing every day or, you know, consistently, if you see that one or two posts throughout the week, you know, reward them, add them to the raffles, um, send them a, a nice little message, a note or something. Let them know that you are grateful and you're thankful for them being a part of your challenge groups. You know, don't, don't just wait to make the sale you know, when, now that you have them in the group, show them that you are rewarding them for their effort, for their time, for their investment, for whatever it may be, you know, for their participation, you can do a point system, which I found super, uh, you know, helpful for my challengers to stay involved. And now a lot of them just do it because they want to share. And then also, again, like I said, um, do the raffles. If the point system doesn't work where they're not adding all their, their points at the end, then that's okay. Then do a raffle. If they're posting um, their Shakeology picture or a Flex Friday pick or, you know, whatever it may be, you know, give them something back, whether it's a nice note, a message, um, you know, reward. We're, this month, I'm giving a three-day refresh as one of the prizes, you know, T-shirts work really awesome. Samples are always great. They love them. And um, anything, like I said, that you feel that's going to be rewarding for them, you add that to your groups. But again, like I said, most importantly, team, you know, be you. Be genuine. You know, be loving and caring. And just, you know, 
just show them, just show them that this journey has truly, truly changed your life and that you are walking the walk with them. You're walking this journey with them because you believe in this lifestyle. And if you are sharing that with them in your challenge groups and not just expecting them to do this on their own, they're going to stay consistent. Some of them will, you know, you always have your challengers who are going to fall off and that's okay. You check in with them privately. Not everyone is okay to share, but I guarantee you, if you keep consistent, those people who are the quiet ones are the ones who are going to shine brighter than ever. So again, team, I hope these tips were helpful for you. Again, be you, stay engaged. Number three, add value. Four, share videos. Number five, be a giver. Just love your team, guys. You guys have a great day. And looking forward to seeing what all of you guys, you know, all your feedback. And I hope this all works for all of you. Bye-bye.